safe about 1000 plus. It should work out cheaper for me. 3 4000. 215, even more. It's for 200 plus. 400 bucks of savings. Hi guys. Yes, that's my car. Go in and grab a look at some. Let's see what new stocks are here. <laughs> Alright, and that's the one I test drove. You can watch my review there. Ah, this is new. I remember the white one was there. This is newly specced. It's here. The blue one is newly specced as well. Just got here. And. Actually, I got the keys. <laughs> now, usually, if you're not someone with a stellar reputation like me, you will be handed these valet keys. Right? And because my reputation is slightly better, I'm handed the actual key. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna leave it here. No, I'll just put it in the car. That's a better place. So, like all Aston and the tradition since the Ian Callum Astons, that's how we open the doors of an Aston Martin. And, like always, like always, it stays wherever you leave it. Alright. Ah, the bonnet release is over here. Uh, in my car, it's on the other side. Okay, and look at this. Spec. Okay, I'll leave the car key here. Alright. Let's check out this car. Oh, I love this combination. I love this combination. It's always nice to see red color leather being contrasted against either a black color car or a dark gray color car like this. Given that this is Aston Martin, I don't think they call it dark gray. Let's look at the name. It's called Magnetic Silver. Yep, Magnetic Silver. So the DB11 is essentially the replacement for the DB9, you know, the big GT Cruiser. And the DB9, as we know, it spawned the repeat. So technically speaking, this is the replacement for my repeat. Right? In a way, because the, the repeat came off the DB9, right? And the DB9, the DB11, has a very very unique profile. You almost have like an upside down 177 tail lamp. Alright, uh, for those of you who, who, who knows Aston a bit more, the 177 tail lamps are in the DB11 and this one is specifically spec to smoke rear tail lamps and I think only Aston's look good with a smoke tail lamp. Right? And if you look at the details, you can see almost crystal like glass shards and it came out to be look at that that is Aston's wing design is integrated here as well I think this is a master touch right to use that to mimic the feathers and then it came off looking like the wings of the Aston Martin logo for those of you first time watching my video Aston Martin logos are jewelry essentially it's not it's not some plastic you know it is actually a jewelry made in made by a jeweler and these are not paint these are enamels which is colored glass right and this is the invisible spoiler of the db11 unique to it only what is an invisible spoiler essentially this is almost like a flying buttress but air goes in and it doesn't come out immediately at the back you know like that of the um, uh, was it the 599 GTO 599 basically the air comes in here and then the air travels inside and the air is channeled to this carbon fiber rear boot lid and inside the boot lid is hollow and the air comes out from here when the air comes out from here okay this is actually to adjust the airflow when the air comes out from here it creates an invisible spoiler so that the air that comes down here swoops upwards and creates downforce clever that's what i like about car makers like this 
No, it's just sleek and beautiful. Long, low. And the fact that the whole front bonnet is devoid of any cut lines. Do you notice that? There are no bonnet cut lines. This is the single largest bonnet in the business. It's even crazier than that of... This is considered crazy as well. But look at this one. The bonnet ends here. I'll come to this car later. It's just so beautiful. Let me come back to this. This bonnet is a pain for PPF installers. Darren Chang, shout out to you. I've seen my good friend, auto detailer, Darren Chang. He wasted almost five rolls or four rolls just trying to wrap this guy here because he wasn't quite happy with the end result. He always looked for micro wrinkles and all that. So look at this, how big this piece of aluminium bonnet is. Right. This is the engineers actually following what the designer wanted. That's the edge of the bonnet I'm tracing here for you. Don't worry, I'm running my fingers very, very lightly. Look at that. How big is this single piece of bonnet cover? It goes all the way to the side and it even goes down to this signature Aston Martin grille at the sides. And with this, it forms this negative space to create the illusion of the side grille that we are so familiar with Aston Martins, right? You, you, your eyes goes around here and then you thought there's an edge and then it comes all the way down to the wheel arches. This is master class when it comes to design. And this one almost looks like the bumper shut line, right? The bumper mounting line, but it's also the bonnet line. This is crazy. Most cars, the bonnet goes around the headlamp, right? And it cuts off here. And then from this side, they cut off here. Most cars are like that. So you have one panel and two panel. No, it's not good enough. For Aston, they just go all the way out. So the DB11 might not be a car that is shouty and loud at first glance, but the more you look at it, the more you look at this kind of sculpted surface, it is a design masterpiece. Right. The classic Aston grille, softened towards the edges. All right. And, uh, and of course, this car has the uh, optional packs that they pack in, the black pack outside. So you can see the front splitters, you know, in black color, instead of body color. And you can see the side grills, right? It's in black color. And this beautifully crafted wing-like side mirror. Yes, they use the, the, the small tapered winglet basically the side mirror needed something to hold it right right and they turn it into a spoiler this is just beautiful one of the most beautiful features here see this is just like the wings of an airplane and it's actually to mount the side mirror but it serves its purpose as well right it brings air straight here and this is also another design masterpiece the rear quarter windows actually gently folds in to let air go, go in here. You might not notice all this little design at first, especially when you look at a car like that, and you're just gonna go like, ah, oh, it's like any other car, but no man. They put in effort, a lot of effort to its design. Okay, down here, the rear diffusers. This is another classic Aston trait, you know. It's just really nice and beautiful. Okay. So these wheels, right, these are the 20 inch, 295 at the back, 35. Bridgestone, S007. You know, a Continental engineer once told me that when it comes to Tire manufacturing, Bridgestone's manufacturing standards are the highest. Yes, it came from a continental engineer. Right, let's go inside. 
these newer doors are so easy to open now compared to those days. Now this one is fitted with a luxury pack as well, which comes with these beautifully quilted leather. Alright, Aston is famous for their leather work and it goes all the way up to the roof as well. And there's also a carbon pack and there's a black chrome pack. Basically all the milled aluminium pieces in the car is being anodized. All right, all these that look like setting chrome plastics, they are all actually metal and it's been anodized, all right? And look at the combination. This is soft, beautiful leather up here. And then this is uh, these are a little bit tougher, you know, for more wear and tear, more daily use. And I like the fact that they, they pinch the leather over here and give it a beautiful red stitch all the way so it feels 3d the stitch itself is 3d so i really like this and then this one with a more traditional perforation over here showing the red leather at the back and then you have the carbon fiber and then the red leather this is just class this is just really really tasteful beautiful all right let's sit inside standard as the Martin seals are uh, aluminium is so cold to the touch. Alright, it's just it's a lovely feeling touching cold metal. Gives you a sensation of quality. And even hidden areas like here, they are all covered in the best the best leather they can find. Now one difference that Aston has with the likes of um, Porsche or Ferrari all right, is that you will notice Aston Martins, right? Even with four or five years of usage, right? You seldom see wrinkled leather over here, right? Why? Aston only uses the thickest leather they can find. They always look for the thickest leather, which is damn hard to work on, expensive, but it lasts. And, and you can tell it when you touch their leather work. Right, you can definitely tell it. And look at the design of the door panel. Right, this one reflects light, so it's not that obvious. This one I can see the little differences. The shadow that was created, right? And then the carbon fiber. Then the anodized, the black anodized milled aluminium pieces. The really thick leather that they use. The carbon that reflects light. That's super nice. And of course, that's the door bin. Dobbin almost looks like an afterthought or the bottom. Look at this feature. It almost looks like the lower intake of some mid-engine car, right? <laughs> okay, coming to the interior. I think it's better to just start the engine, right? But let's look through everything. So this is high quality leather. This is Alcantara. And then the beautiful leather again is cushioned, it's perforated, it's stitched. This beautiful stitch line in the middle. It's just a work of art. Um, an Aston Martin interior is like a Hermes handbag. If you want to correct, correct me to Hermes. Okay, it's, I mean, I'll just pronounce it the way. Alright, in terms of the quality finishing, the little metal details that they use. Look at that, the hinges alone. It's milled from one piece of metal as well. All right, this one is leather, and then see when when I glide this, this these are just class. Towards the end, there's a little magnet that holds it. It's just beautiful, and the edges are just leather clamped together and stitched. The workmanship of Aston leather work is just another level. The rims of this little LED light, again, finished in aluminium, frameless mirrors, right, it's just a beauty. Just look at all these things that I'm pointing out here now, all right. Look at this carbon fiber work, you know, the way it folds up, the solidity of the build, and all that, right. And then you consider, and then you just think about it, this car is, what, before tax, 800 over 1000 ringgit, 4 liter V8. 500-ish horsepower, 600 plus newton meters of torque. Right, it's 
it's just beautiful. You come into this interior and then you go into the interior of the new Porsche 9, 992. I know they are, they are different price point, right? That one is similar to a Vantage price point. But the finishing is just another level, you know. It's just another level. The new 992 has so much plastics in there. And if you compare this to the brother that borrowed it, its engine and its infotainment system, the AMG GT, that car is not finished in the same level as well. Of course, that one has a lot of uh, social media fanfare going on for youngsters, you know. But in terms of finishing, this is just another level. Alright, shall we start the car? Press on the brakes. Okay. Listen to that. Beautiful. Whoops. Yep. Silent. Now this steering wheel is slightly squarish because it sort of mimics that square steering wheel design that came off the um, 177. Alright. So modern generation Astons, as you can tell, they have thoroughly modernized everything, but they kept a little bit of a tradition here. Not too big of a screen, you're not here to watch a movie or whatever, just enough for you to use, that's about it. Alright, and um, so, uh, very familiar operation here with the command system. Go down here, so these are your main menus. And then once you go in to whichever one, oops, let's go back, uh, go to vehicle, then I can scroll down here to change different things, right, the options and all that. Alright, I'm um, not here to learn that. And then here you have three screens, left, right and center. Center is always the ref counter, very modern, very, a little bit anime in a way, but they thoroughly wanted to modernize it, right? No choice. And uh, over here, we have the aircon vents. Everything is finished in aluminium. Okay, even, yeah, the whole thing is in aluminium. Even though they painted it and then it's lightweight and then it feels like it's not, but it actually is, all right? And uh, how do I operate this? Turn on the air conditioning. Always oh, touch sensitive over here, as you can see. It's all touch sensitive now. Okay, and uh, what about the temperature? <laughs> ah, it's over here. Okay, it's at its coldest already. See that? So you get a physical metal button to adjust, you know, the temperature where to blow the air, and then how much air you want, alright? Um, these are still there, uh, like Tradition Aston, Tradition PR, ND, and this little thing in the middle, they're all finished in crystals, alright? That's an Aston Tradition. The pedals, see? The pedal is pure milled aluminium, single piece. And when you run your fingers across, you can hear that sound that you get when you run your fingers across metal. Uh, these buttons are all very ergonomic. You can change your driving modes over here and then your suspension. Then down here, that's, that's the volume control for the stereo, I believe. All right, so, but I've silent it. And um, cameras. So when I touch these, right, maybe it's a setting. I don't know, but there's no feedback. All right, it's not like there's a, you know, uh, sometimes you will appreciate it not having any feedback after you've got used to your car but first time going in you might you might expect it to have okay uh, the lights you turn on and off with proximity with touch sensor all right and then here this is one of the party piece of the DB11 and this the DBS Superleggera is that the armrest is actually powered all right nice finishing inside you have USB ports, SD card slot, and then this little thing. All right. So it's a it's a it's a showcase. It's a showcase. 
Right, you have two rear seats at the back there, but uh, well, you know, you know the drill for two door cars, you know. All right, temperature has warmed up. Maybe we can listen a bit to the V8. I like that. Yeah, that's what you get. It's a 4 litre V8 bi turbo, and when you go into Sport Plus, my goodness. Right, stop the engine. Same procedure. There you go. Okay. What a sound. What a sound. Alright. Oh, smells good. Burning rich. Always smells good. So guys, that's the DB11s. Now, you'll be asking me, hey, uses the engine from AMG, will they drive the same? No, Aston, right? They made the car deliver power by revs instead of pushing all the torque out at the very low end they allow you to rev the car i tell you this is a godsend because cars that blow all of its torque down below you seldom get the chance to actually rev the car out okay and this one you get to all right That's the boot, and that's what I wanted to show you guys just now. Look at that. See that? Yeah, that's a very, very clear path that comes into this, and then it goes out from here. Alright, this is just another ingenuity. Alright, the boot's not very large. Okay, and these are your emergency needed stuffs, but you'll definitely fit a glove box. Uh, sorry, it definitely need fit a golf bag. Okay, so guys, the DB11, this beautiful spec is here in Aston Martin KL. If you're interested, come and check it out. This spec is really, really nice. Um, right. Nice spec, nice interior specification. It has the luxury pack, it has the tech pack, it has the black pack outside. Beautiful rims, beautiful color, beautiful combination. And 4 litre. Road tax is 6,600 ringgit. Not expensive. Right, and if you register this car in Nankawi, bring in a few months a year just to drive around. You can enjoy it. And yep, all right, that's the DB11. Anyway, I spotted this beautifully spec DBX over here. This color is just magnificent. What is it called? Ceramic blue. Should I paint my BMW this color? It's just beautiful. Ceramic blue, and what I can immediately see is that they have spec, a beautiful black color Aston logo all around the car, and then Oh, look at that. That car wet. This car. Anyway, black rims, black calipers. Oh, that's really, really nice. This is just beautiful. Black calipers, black rims, black coat. These are, you know, sometimes that's a conflicting thing. I would have left it in this metal color because this is actually aluminum. You know, I would have left it there. But then to complete the look, right? You have to, or maybe there's a choice to anodize it, I don't know, but looks really good, all right, the window lining, and uh, I have always said that the profile of the DBX is very, very different from usual SUVs, it's like a giant hot hatch, 
Hey, it's just beautiful. Oh, this is just beautiful. The smoke color, tail lamps, contrasting with the color. Oh my god, black color, Aston. This is really nice. This spec is beautiful, guys. Whoever wants it, come and snatch it up. It's, it's a beautiful spec. Alright, the top is black as well. Let's go in and have a look. Oops, haven't unlocked the car. Let me unlock the car. I will have every key in Neston. <laughs> okay, let's go in and have a look. Damn. Um, if you're not familiar with how the DBX looks, look at it. Alright, uh, from pictures, it doesn't look that big, but I tell you, this car is huge. It's bigger than the Cayenne. It has more leg room inside than the Bentega. It's a big, big car. Okay, and this is the LED lights, but also, yes, it's an intake for air to go and cool down the brakes. How cool is that? Okay, let's come over here. Frameless doors, beautiful. Hmm. Lovely leather smell. Okay, and the contrast stitching is actually light blue color, so it matches really, really well with its exterior. And inside here, the Aston Mountain logo as well. It is spec in this contrast stitching light blue color and I, I always like this little metal inserts in the DBX. I think that's such a cool design detail and you don't have a tall sill. Do you notice that? So ingress and egress is very easy because you don't need to raise your feet over some some sills that rise up. Right? This is very very considerate and the doors they actually wrap all the way down so that it keeps away all the dirt and all that and this part is blocked off by this rubber strip over here so that it remains clean here why because when you go in and out you might rub your pants against this part and you may bring in some dirt so this is a very cool and considerate all right uh, design so in here for the new generation Aston's, my favorite interior has to be the DBX. The way they design it, I think it's very cool, very nice. And this folding is nice, but they didn't do the stitching over here, just like that car over there. I think doing the stitching over here at, at this part just, just takes it to another level, right? And I would have preferred if these stitchings are in this color as well, that would be a lot nicer. But ultimately, this is a really really cool spec to see all right um, the same high quality finishing is here let me move the seats a little bit so not used to having the seat controls on the seat themselves and not on the center tunnel well new generation Aston's all right this one is another sun visor for you to pull out so that it covers this side when the sun is low on the horizon and it's glaring in the car. This handle is very convenient. This is the same door handles. This is the same opening. Okay, Aston don't do soft closed doors. Yep, they've never done it. It might seem like they never will, but I do not understand why. Again, when you press the brake pedals, alright, that lights up. Okay, this is the same 4 liter V8 by turbo inside here and uh, thoroughly updated screen thoroughly updated screen as well yes it's another generation ahead from the db11 the vantage the dbs superleggera all right this one has a proper proper infotainment screen designed for aston all right it's really nice and this one as well multi-information display so this again takes it to up to another level Again, full aluminium paddles and uh, let's let in some light, shall we? Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. That's the single largest curtain. Yeah, and it's made of Alcantara, right? <laughs> this is one of the largest panoramic roofs, panoramic glass roofs ever made and it's humongous it's huge all right here we have 
like my other reviews I've shown you guys all right it's a deep center armrest kind of console with USB ports and all that cup holders here you can push this out when you don't need the cup holders it makes sense because when you have cups over here you can rest your arms further you can still grab your cups they thoroughly do all the studies so the ergonomics of this car is just fantastic right and here as well you can rest your palms it's just a very very comfortable car to be in right even on long distance you can slot your palms in it's just so nice and this is wide enough for you to sometimes put your arm here because it's an SUV and the visibility is just fantastic I love this spec man this spec is beautiful this spec is just beautiful of course I'm someone who's daring enough to to have white interiors if I can have this ceramic blue exterior and I have a full cream white interior with contrast blue stitching like oh that would be nice yeah I prefer white interiors yes they get dirtier over time and you have to spend money to clean them that also means I get to visit my good friend Darren isn't that so all right um, does it work the same way over here if I want to go spot plus and all that is it this one okay so standard is GT and then when you go down you go into sport all right and then you can hear it's different and then there's spot plus over here and uh, I can hear the exhaust note is different now right it's already different the exhaust note so this is very similar to the new generation Mercedes-Benz uh, interior in terms of uh, infotainment the, the sorry the, the digital cluster it's just that it doesn't use the uh, trackpad the touch sensitive trackpad I think that one is brilliant anyway I get all the information here right fuel consumption temperature of the engine um, my fuel gauge and all that there's some little ridges over here interesting maybe to 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 follow through these lines at the back there all right so yeah the DBX has a hmm this is peculiar this is very familiar because in my car this little aluminium button is to open the boot and inside here I have a crystal button to open the glove box and this one has this little aluminium button to open the glove box all right yeah and down here you get a huge space with the DBX and <laughs> peculiarly the boot opening button is hidden deep here why they could have just put it over here right that would be a more suitable place to put but then if you do not know where to open the boot there you go or is that the bonnet no that's the boot <laughs> okay so uh, again these are touch sensitive oh hear the feedback yeah yeah so I believe it's, a, it's just a setting Right, again, these buttons are all crafted in aluminium. Cold to the touch, cold to the touch. Crafted in aluminium, really nice. Yeah. My concern is that the aircon outlet seems to be a little bit small. So if you raise the air volume, yeah, yeah, it will be a bit loud. Okay, but you seldom need that. Okay, because it has full all zone air conditioning. So whenever I see when it's too too tight, I know it's going to sound a little bit louder. But then, oh, climate control, it will wind down the volume of air later on. Okay? Lovely. And of course, you can spec these into carbon fiber. You can spec these into uh, wood. You can spec all kinds of stuff. It's an Aston anyway. Right? You can spec it to the moon and back. Alright? And, uh, yeah. Lovely. See the visibility in the back there? And uh, the car is warmed up. Do you want to listen to the car? Let's listen to it. All right. I'm going to sit nearer first. <laughs> this is the best part. Normal. Oh my God. Hear that? Okay, this one has a RAF limiter, but it allows that crackle to come in just before it cuts off the throttle to protect you and of course dbx being a new generation Aston, you also have this tronic control and all that that car only has the uh, park assist and all that but come on that's a sports car 
All right, that's the DBX. So these two cars just arrived, Aston. All right, if you like this spec, which I really do. Oh, going in and out is so easy. All right, sorry. It's manlier to slam the doors, I guess. The cushions are just so comfortable. Oh, the DPX. <sighs> what a place. Right, aircon vents, aircon vents, aircon controls. Right, and it's just... Yeah, man. This is such a comfortable place to be in. Right, the DBX. Oh, lovely. My kids will love this. Not the time yet, I need to work harder. All right, guys? So please renew your car insurance with Evil Club Insurance. And for those of you who want to, uh, sorry, I haven't finished. Renew your car insurance with Evil Club Insurance and you get to save 40%. And now I can proudly announce this for all the car sales people out there, even new cars, you can register Evil Club Insurance for your customers and they will save 40% off their insurance. All right? For cars that are worth 850,000 ringgit and above, like these guys, just email us at evoclub at horizon and it will help you do it manually instead of through the website. All right? So, yep. These two are over here. That's the Martin KL, new, freshly arrived. That's the DB11 4 liter V8 bi turbo. That's the beautiful DBX which in my opinion is the best luxury SUV out there now. Best looking, best balance of exterior, interior, sportiness and luxury. All right? I know there's a more luxurious one right over that side, which is Bentley, but this one has that sporty, younger appeal to me. All right? And do come in here and inspect your Aston if you want to. There's a beautiful white color DB11. There's also a beautiful DBS Superleggera over here. All right, guys? Signing off. Cheers. Thank God that the brothers on the rise now. Endless celebrations all in my house.